All right. Well, hasn't this just been an amazing day, huh? It's been awesome. So good. Over the years, I've noticed something. I know that Gilbert mentioned this earlier, but over the years, it seems that the language of our songs uh, from my childhood until now went from being songs that were about the Lord, about his goodness, about his nature, about who he is, to songs about what God has the ability to do for us. And life is filled with suffering and pain, and life is filled with tragedy and sorrow, and it's part of living in a world that's filled with evil and sin. You know, C.S. Lewis said that each of us are born into enemy territory. Uh, Jesus said, in this life you will have trouble. You know, it's kind of crazy that God promised us that trouble's going to come. But he said, take heart, I've already overcome the world. And it's interesting, when every song I sing is wrapped around that idea that, that Christ, if my whole relationship with the Lord is just filtered through what God can do for me, then I'll really lose sight of the true power of the resurrection of Christ and the true power of the victory of the gospel. Um, you know, every disciple, almost all of them, died martyrs. And yet some of those same ones that died martyrs were miraculously freed out of persecution at times. So God is sovereign. God is moving. And I think that um, he wants our identity be, to be rooted in something way deeper than circumstantial happiness. He wants our identity to be rooted in his suffering. And the suffering of Christ is not just Christ on the cross. The suffering of Christ, like Paul said, I want to be one with Christ in his sufferings. It's best described as this. When Jesus said this, he said, I only want to do what I see my father do and say what I hear my father say. And in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, the, the good fight of faith that Jesus was fighting on the earth, the, the fight, his struggle, his suffering, was continuing to, for the joy set before him, to pursue the Lord, to say what his dad's saying, to do what his dad's doing. And he was the firstborn among many. You and I are called to be in, made in his, his image. Amen? Amen. He goes, Jesus, you sing in three-part harmony, praise the Lamb. So let's try that again. Jesus, you are all I want. Beautiful. Jesus, you're all I need. Oh, Jesus, you are all my soul.
Son and the Holy Spirit, we pray. 